Hey, so you remember how in Super Gornest I had complained that the PlayStation crashed and I had to re-record all of my um, level because the PlayStation didn't record anything? Wouldn't that be crazy if that happened again? It really would, wouldn't it? It's a good thing it didn't, right? Right? So, hello everybody. This is episode 9 of the Doom Eternal playthrough. It is March 25th, 2021 at 8.40pm, and I hope you are all having a fantastic time whenever you find yourself watching this. Um, okay, so, <laughs> let, me, let me try and catch back up to where I was. Um, I was at the area where uh, the secret encounter happens, so if you want to know just how far I'm going to get, I'll probably draw attention to it whenever I get back there. I have an eyelash in my eye. Ow. I'm going to keep you guys alive for ammo. Because once we solve this very difficult puzzle, and I do mean very difficult, this this part's kind of crazy. Hold on, let me take care of this guy real quick. Ouch! All right, now you. Can I get my uh? Can I get my blood punch back, please? Thank you. All right, and now that we got all of that. Give me some ammo. Thank you. So look at this crazy puzzle. We got two lights looking at each other. Two buttons that we can punch and a door. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know. This might be a bit crazy, but if we punch both the big glowing buttons and the door opens, isn't that just fucking nuts? Who would have ever guessed? All right, so we gotta fight a traffic gun, man. A very cool fight. Ow. Okay. Bye. You remember people thought that he was hard? <laughs> you remember people thought that the uh, Marauder was a really hard fight? He is. No, I, I, if he, if he has his buddies around with him, and you're, you're fighting against a marauder and a bunch of other demons, then yeah, actually, that is a pretty tricky fight. But just a marauder, all in its lonesome, uh, it's nothing. Yeah, it's really not a difficult fight in the slightest. What was that? I hope it wasn't a bojo trying to kill me. All right, so in this room directly across from us was where the video cut out. By the way, um, in between this ep or this level and the last, um, there was a quick intermission sequence in which the con maker, oh, excuse me, in which the con maker shows up and is like, "You slayer! I cannot believe you've killed all my hell priests. What am I gonna do? I'll just till Earth even more, more demons." And so we have to go to the maker home world and be like, "Hey, quit that!" All right, so we are back at some doom eternal content and uh-oh there's goons in my house oh no what am i gonna do with there being goons and by saying hey quit that of course that means you gotta kill him you gotta shoot him uh, okay so there should be an arch file around here somewhere we just gotta find out where he is hey there's the arch file so how do you think you kill the arch file well it's the exact same way you kill like every other demon in this game with the super shotgun ballistic combo. This game's really hard, by the way. <laughs> uh, it is. Like, uh, quote unquote, it is. If you don't know how to play the game and you just try to shoot everything um, with, like, the heavy gunner or the um, chain gun, then actually, yeah, this game could be a bit tricky. But if you know about weapon swap combos, all the difficulty just kind of goes down the drain. Samuel Hayden has some very insightful words. Sometimes anger and rage aren't always the solutions, but this time it will be. Wow, that's crazy. Like, why, why couldn't the... I, I know I'm reading into a fucking Doom game, but why couldn't the, the moral of the game be maybe sometimes you should just not 
like, tried to go against, I, I don't know, like, it's a demon invasion, so, you know, demons are bad, killing humans are bad, but a lot of the things that the Doomslayer does, uh, especially in the DLC, uh, they're just bad ideas, and it seems like he's just doing it because he's just angry, and... I mean, you know, you play games like um, God of War, you know, even before God of War became the hyper serious uh, storytelling game it is now, but back during like the original trilogy, the whole purpose was that like anger and rage and revenge isn't really a proper solution to any of your problems. It just breeds more problems. But in this game, you're the doomsayer, so you can just punch everything. I don't know. I don't really. It's a fun game. Like the gameplay is very fun. But the, quote, lessons that it tries to teach through its story is not very good. <laughs> I don't like it. But that does not stop the game from being very fun. Because the game is very fun. There's no getting around it. Turns out having fun gameplay um, is able to get you past just about any bad storytelling just as how good storytelling can help or typically get you around bad gameplay but then you have games like last of us where it's just the best of both worlds right in which both a good story and uh a good gameplay result in just a fantastic game and then you have last of us 2 in which a bunch of whiny crybabies just completely miss the whole point of course that's neither here nor there right now we're playing doom and we have 11 seconds to kill this guy, who we have to uh, get a glory kill on. Here we go. And I think we're good, right? Oh no, I still have to kill these guys. No! Oh my god. Can you believe that? All right, we gotta do that all again, because I didn't kill the one zombie. Ah, bleh, bleh, bleh. Hold on. Let's do this again. Ow! There we go. Done. Okay! Um... I think we're good in this area. Are there any more secrets? Oh, there is one more thing over here, but we have to go the other way. Right, right, right. We can't get to it just yet. That was pretty annoying. Oh, there's a medikit over there. Oh, right. Okay, there's a button that we have to push. I will get to that tier in just a second. Let me go ahead and pick up this medikit. And now let's push the button. Which I love that, um, <laughs> the only way you could push that button, I guess, is by punching a giant statue. Like, I, I like that that, um, I don't know. I like that there is a big button that you can punch. Like, it's intentionally there to help out people who, I don't know, are just really strong. Also, yeah, we have to go to the sewers in this level, and it's not too great. I think uh, the, the lesson that I have learned while play or doing this playthrough is that I have a lot that I don't really like in this game. I remember every time I think back to this game, I'd be like, oh yeah, Doom Eternal is fucking great. It's such a good game. But as I'm playing through this and like talking about it aloud, there are a lot of issues that I have with it. Both, you know, from just a pure gameplay perspective and then a non-gameplay perspective. Like the, the terrible, terrible amount of time wasted in just going through cutscenes. When it's like, who wants that? <laughs> who wants to waste their time? Uh, okay, we got an empowered demon. What is this? What's it sound like? Oh, it's a pinky. It is written that you are hatred okay. for the demons. Hey, the pinky demon. Home, as it does now wow, that was a really tough demon. Oh, hey, watch it, pal. You see how having a shield is just incredibly strong? It's, I really, really, really hope that it does get nerfed in Ancient Gods Part 2, because I know in Ancient Gods Part 1, it was still ridiculously powerful. And it's the best way to deal with a lot of the, the harder enemies, is to just hold up a shield. Even, even if you're taking fall damage, like if you're gonna fall off a ledge or something, you could just 
bring out your shield and go, no! And then you don't take any fall damage. What are pressing that button to you? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Activates these rings on this uh, fountain. Font? Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. And there we go. Now we have the secret. Now we have all the secrets. Just kidding, there's still quite a bit more on this map, I think. Enough of this up. Thank you. And well, I don't care. This is uh where you get the huge um knock you over the head hint that uh the, the guy who gave Doom Guy's powers is Samuel Hayden, which just feels like such a big red con. Like, I don't know. It's cool, you know, whatever, but it, it wasn't planned in the slightest. It's it's 100 percent a retcon. Um, which, you know, retcons aren't always bad. Like, it's not the worst thing in the world, but whenever it does happen, you can feel it pretty strongly. Alright, I need to pepper you down because I have to get some new glory kill animations. Thank you. One more on this. Um, and now I can deal with... Can I get both of you guys? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Unlucky. Ooh, excuse me. Whoa. Oh man. Uh ah. Yes, this is what I want. Thank you. <laughs> well that sucks. Excuse me. Ooh. Ah, damn it. Well, that kind of blows. You, Cyber Mancus. I don't want you. Or not Cyber Mancus, I'm sorry. Cyber Knights. What are they called? I can never remember their names. It's like Brutal Knights. Uh, L? No, not L Knight. I really can't think of their name right now. This is, uh, this is a bit of a predicament, isn't it? I'm getting chased by a Doom Hunter. Okay, here's what I gotta do. I gotta get out of this area. I gotta make some space. Take out this guy, and now we gotta go for you. Die. Whoa. Excuse me. Thank you. Now I gotta get out of here again. And let's see if we can find something I can get ammo from. Like you, a gargoyle. Thank you. Alright. Let's get some more armor to survive. Alright, dickhead. And I think now we are in a good enough position to start trying to take out this guy. Critical damage. Let's just keep doing some more damage to him. And he's dead. Let's get the quick glory kill. I think there's only one glory kill against this guy, which is... I don't know if that was on accident. Like, I totally feel like there should be more glory kills against him. But I think it's just the one. Which is a bit silly. Oh, there was, um, there's a BFG cell here, huh? That could've been handy. Oh, well. I am more than happy to be able to beat a fight without using the BFG. But I also did die, so maybe I didn't really beat it, huh? Uh, right, I need to come down here to press this button. Boom. That's what I call difficult puzzles. Two buttons? That's more than I can even think of. Alright, so I think now we have to go down to the throne room or something? No, more sewers. Right, but this is where the last layer gate is, over here. Um, but first we have to find the key, of course, as is with every other level. Let's see if that's him back. There it is right there. And we have to come at that gate from behind, so let's continue on through here. More water. Alright, so I think it's the same as before, we just have to drain the water find these very bright green things. Watch the unskippable cutscene. And go back underwater. But I think first we have to like shoot. No. We just have to keep going down. Yes. Here we go. And now we have to shoot something. Right. Gameplay. 
Like, why are these in the game? I don't know. It really just comes off as filler. I know, I know, I know that if Doom was nothing but non-stop action, it would get too repetitive and players would lose engagement, blah, blah, blah. I've heard all the videos, but it's like, not really. Have you played the DLCs? <laughs> they basically are non-stop action and they're really good. There are some sequences in which the action is slowed down to where you can have some more dramatic segments, but even those slow down parts, they're just different um, styles of combat. I, I, I'll be able to uh, um, illustrate this whenever we're actually in the DLC, Ancient Gods Part 1. Like the Blood Swamps, I think, is the best example of what I'm talking about. Um, and then <laughs> U, uh, UAC Atlantica facility is the worst example of what I'm talking about. But first, we have this guy. Oops. Whoa! Hey! Watch it, huh? This what happens if you don't kill him instantly. Oh, man. That's a shame. This is why you have to kill Archfile very quickly, because if you don't kill him in that one cycle, um, with the, uh, freeze grenade, then he will be very dangerous, because they do a lot of damage, and they can, they can take out your health very quickly. You just saw I died right there. So, they are a threat. But if you have the freeze grenade, they're not too bad. But of course, I missed my first ballista shot with the freeze grenade, so it didn't really work out. Alright, I have to get uh, one final glory kill on this boat, though. So. Okay, okay, another spawn. I was about to be real sad. Alright, I said I have to get one more glory kill on this boat, though. So. I'm gonna swap to the plasma. What the hell? Hello? I really hope one more spawns, but I'm not I'm not gonna tear myself up about it if it doesn't. Like, uh ah, I don't care that much. Hey! Whoa, excuse me, fellas. Watch it. Jeez Louise. Where are your manners? Whoops. Whoa! Hey! Guys, chill out. Am I right? Get it? Because it was a. Uh... No, that wasn't my fault. That joke doesn't work. <laughs> okay, give me some ammo, pal. Thank you. All right, where you at? Where are you at? Show yourself. There you go. Hey, get down here. You scamp. Alright, I think it's gonna be a Baron now, right? No, Whiplash is even worse. Oh, bastard. Uh, how do I wanna handle this? Because I'm gonna run out of grenades, I think. Let's just make some distance. And keep using lock on rockets. I think that's the best thing we can do here. But I would really like to get some armor. If you would please. Thank you. Thank you. Pick up some more rockets right here. Very quickly. Before I kill that next one, I'm going to pick up a few more rockets, and now I think we're going to take up this guy. Die. Uh, die. Thank you. Now, I believe I saw a purple limp. Yeah, here he is. Die. Thank you. Whoa. That is a tyrant I hear. Hey pal, what have you been up to? Oh, he's not dead yet. Whoa! I'd rather go back towards the tyrant. <laughs> the the manky is scarier than a tyrant is. Dead. Give me some mana, please. Thank you. Whoop. Out of here. Now, where's that second thing? Here he is. Got him. What's up next? A gargoyle? Give me a break. Uh, another gargoyle. Whoa. Whoa. Yahoo. Yippee. We good? That's it? Huh. Okay. 
Breaker of Gates. That's a Game of Thrones reference. I get that reference. All right, cool. Now we can get the Unmaker. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, the BFG, it's really strong. Um, and the Unmaker is also supposed to be really strong. Actually, let's just uh, let's see how strong the BFG is, I guess, right? We get a free BFG still here. Why not? There you go. Cool. That is a free wave dead. Oh, hey, pal. Not what I was expecting to see. Thank you. Oh, really not what I was expecting to see. Excuse me. Oh, I don't have Blood Punch open. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Alright, now I gotta refine that guy, because if I'm not too careful, he is gonna summon enemies. I have got to find him. Archvile. There you are. Dead. Alright, I think, uh, I think the majority of the fight's over now. What else is left? Who are you? Dead. Alright, that was a fun fight. That arch file really caught me by surprise. Oh, hey there, pal. Um, you mind giving me some ammo? I can use some. Thank you. Yeah, I was not expecting him. Uh, okay, there's a secret over there. How do we get to it? There's a big object right here. Let's drop down, there's a secret encounter, and just a secret pickup. Let's do this again. Counter real quick. Is this where the water is? Yes. I knew there was a Marauder secret in this level somewhere. Oh, oops. Don't tell me your puppy dog, please. Alright, come on. Dead. Bye bye. Meow. Actually, I want to go this way. Is there more arm or ammo? Anywhere? We can get some cells. Um, but no shells, huh? Cells, but no shells. Okay. Um. I think we'll come back for that BFG cell later on. Uh, but for now, we need to keep going with the level. And I'm going to swap to the chain gun and rocket servant. I'm running low on set, uh, shells, so I'm gonna have a nice defensive weapon to play with and a nice ranged off. If the crucible blade is removed, the titan will rise again. Okay. So, I don't know if this is uh, true or not, but I think this titan's gonna become our friend later on. Like, in DLC 2, maybe. I have no idea, because I haven't played the game. Even, um, you know, a few days after it came out. Look at me, I'm on top of the world. Can I get over here? Oh hell yeah. Can I get over here? Nope. Invisible wall. How about up here? <laughs> really? Nope. Invisible wall. Awesome. Can I get up here? Okay. Can I get up here? Hold on. Hold on. Boom. Look at me. King of the world. I mean... We are going right up there, but still. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, um. Let's see. What do I want? Um. I mean, I guess we'll wait to where we can spawn some cluster grenades, right? That'll be handy. Also. Ugh. Oh. Jeez. Please. What is this? Fallout 4? It is made by Bethesda. Thanks. Right, okay, so that sword, that's still there, right? How come, uh, how come the big red sword doesn't matter? You know? how, how come it's just in the blit, or the, the, what am I trying to say, the hilt? That matters so much. I don't know. To be completely honest, I have no idea. Okay. 
what you need. Ooh. Hey, bow. Alright, um... What are these guys called? I really can never remember. I don't think I ever will remember. Oops. Excuse me. Thank you. And ammo. Thank you. Let's back up real quick. That was close. Alright, I need to take out these guys. These guys are causing some trouble. Excuse me, I would really appreciate if you backed up. Thank you. Oh, we pissed off traffic light man. Damn. I hope he doesn't shine his green light on me. Please don't traffic hunt man. It's really gonna hurt my feelings if you shine your green light on me. Aw, oh, I was hoping I could get four hits on him. Oh, whoops. Oh well, we got him. Bye. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. What else is around? Looks like I left a secret over here. Where? Uh, oh, of course. Let's break the wall. Hey, look. <laughs> it's a traffic light, man. He has his red light for whenever you need to not shoot. Red means stop, guys. And green means go. So whenever you see green, you're good to go. You can go ahead and shoot. But if you see red, don't do it. They'll summon this puppy dog who's yellow. Really funny joke. I know. I know. I'm a, I'm a huge comedian. The world of Argentinor has fallen. Divided. Alright, can I have, like, get into the pain elemental south, at some point? I'd really like to be able to get this challenge done. I'm pretty sure I have the other two challenges, right? Oh, I still have codex entries to find. Pinky demon. Hey, pal. You come this way. Two pinky demons. What am I gonna do against two pinky demons? Oh, there is another pain elemental. Good. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Guys, guys! There's no need to play like this. It's alright. What the? Oh, man. Alright, Pinkies. Fuck, I, I really shouldn't have been joking about them, I guess. Jeez Louise. I was expecting them to kick my ass like that. Don't underestimate three Pinky Demons. Whatever you do. Excuse me. Thank you. Alright, so I have to be uh, apparently really cautious to make sure I can um, glory kill this guy. So I guess I'll just pepper him to death with a combat shark. Uh, can I jump up here? Thank you. I'd like some help. Never mind. Will you give me health? Thank you. Alright, give me a pain elemental. you stop please okay there we go and I want to do one from behind there we go challenge done right yes challenge done <laughs> oh I hate I hate this stupid get get the glory kill challenges because you have to you have to one make sure that you don't kill the demon too hard otherwise you won't be able to glory kill him and then after that you have to make sure that you are looking the right direction and it's just I don't like having to slow down in my fast-paced action combat game. I leak I like being able to just shoot enemies with my gut big guns in my fast-paced shooter combat game. What I don't like is missing really horribly. Like I just did. Uh oh, Spectre, I gotta be careful. This guy's gonna kill me twice. Dang. Whoa! Now that actually could get me. I gotta be careful. It's this guy. Two of them. These Kakadevans. Don't mess around with Kakadevans. Kill them as quickly as you can. I think I hear another Pinky Demon somewhere. I don't know where we're at though. 
Oh, it's you that I was hearing, huh? Oh, hold on. I have to kill you with the air ballista. Thanks so much, Alex. There we go. To kill six more of those guys with the air ballist. Jeez Louise. Alright, whatever you say, game. Uh, where are we going? I guess if you're here to pick up this cool cookie. Thank you, sir. Looks delicious. We're gladly eating. Uh, where am I going now? Oh, there's a crystal that me. Cool beans. I'll go ahead and grab that. And of course the codex. Gotta have my lore. Gotta have my Gotta have my lore. <laughs> uh yeah. Gotta get armor for blood. Gotta have a blood. That is very handy though. Because now, if there is extra armor just laying on the ground, like after I flame belch somebody, um, instead of just leaving it there for the birds, I can now use it to fuel my blood punch, which is really, really helpful. Uh, there's a one up right here. Cool. Cutscene? Not a cutscene. Um, get some ammo, I guess. Apparently did not need. Okay. Challenge time. Let's push this button. And what does pushing this button do? I think it makes it to where I can push this button. Over here. Okay. And once I push this button, I think I can go back into here and push this button. Now that was a puzzle. You had to go from both sides more than twice. Very cool. Um, is there really nothing over here? Is this just the looks? Why is this here? Really? Maybe that's a. Oh, you know what? Okay, it's probably an elevator that leads back up. I see. I probably have to. Oh, I gotta get my coin. Of course. We gotta get the Duracell coin to charge our sword. Check it out. Boom. The sword ate the coin. Very cool. Alright, let's keep going. Insert Star Trek joke here. It's very easy to make. Alright, so now we are at the Sentinel throw room, and there's a big, big scratch on the ground. That's because we will be dropping, I think, like a chandelier or something on top of it. Uh, what else is around? Nothing. How do I get up? Let's see, let's see. Not here. So, I guess it's over here. This is where we came from, though. Yeah, this is the elevator. How do I get up? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What a mystery. Oh, of course. Go down. And press the skull. Okay, now we got some grab lifts. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go over here. Boom. And bow. Bang. Very cool. Very cool, Doom. So there is a horrible, horrible secret that you have to get right there. Um, I probably will, actually I can almost certainly say I will not get it first try, um, because it's really obnoxious. There's a drop down that you're going to have to make, a drop into this hole right here, and you have to perfectly time your dash into a wall to, um, to get it. Let me see if I can find it. It's this way. There it is, right there. I want to say that's the Is it over around here? Where is this wall at? Hold on. I want to see if I can get it first try. Um, I guess it has to be down there, right? That's what it looks like. It's in the middle of these two things. Am I looking at it directly right here? Yes. So, let's keep the cursor here. So yeah, it's got to be right down here. I'm assuming it's this spot. Let's see if we can get it. Nope. 
Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't that fun. Ugh. Alright, uh, what am I doing in here? Oh, yeah. Gotta punch it. Ah! Oh, oh I did punch it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know whose, uh, whose idea it was to put a awful secret there. Because it is awful. <laughs> like, who, who would be able to find that without having the, um, the, the previous knowledge that was already there? Oops. Okay. And boom. Get out of here. I don't like your coming. You put up shield to her. Excuse me, demon. Who would care to die very quickly? Thank you. Good ammo. Thank you. And what else is left in this screen? We got some with the teleporting purple imps. Dead. Got some armor. Uh, got a gargoyle. Dead. Is that it? I think that's it. Alright. Any secrets in this room? No, there's not. What do I do now? Oh, it's just open for me. Okay. Um, so actually, I can go ahead and show this off. If I blood punch now, you can see that... Well, hold on. Okay, my blood punch. And then I pick up all that armor, and I was already full on armor, and you can see my blood punch has been refilled. Very handy to have. Um, it makes it to where, whenever you're playing, well, you can just continue to play better and better. Oh, sorry. I thought there was a ledge I could save. Yeah, right here. Here we go. Let's shoot this. There you go. What was the point in that? What, what did that do? Oh, whatever. Okay. Let's shoot this. And what does that do? I need to go somewhere now. Somewhere over here? Yes, I do. Okay. Looks like there's a lure tablet over here. An empowered cyber mancubus. Well, that kind of sucks. Oops. Oops. Ow. You do a lot of damage, sir. Die. Powered demon dead. Kill. Waist down. Die. Whoa. Come here. Oops. I did that in the wrong order. Um, do I want to wait for my flame bells to come back? Kind of. I didn't even get it on that guy, did I? No, of course I didn't. It's okay, though. I've got the hook shot. Okay, um, is there anything else for me to do? There's a Master Key token down here. Let's go and pick this up, I guess. And now we gotta get the big sword. Big sword. Skip. Okay. Now we get to try out the big sword, and it is a one-shot against every enemy in the game. Even, like, tyrants. It's, it's just that good. Um, and as such, this will probably be the only place you'll see me using it until, like, the very end of the game. Because, uh, I don't know. I like to play the game. I don't like to just cheese enemies. I don't know. You might see me pull it out if I am in just, like, absolute dire straits and I'm, I'm really struggling but most of the time, I I don't like super cheese. I don't know. Uh, I just don't care for it. Let's see. Okay, look. Big, 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 scary, super heavy demon, right? Dead. In like a second. I don't know. It just feels like cheating. You know what I mean? Which is fine. If you're struggling with the game and you need help, go for it. There's nothing wrong with it. But, yeah. I, uh... I don't know. I feel like um, this was put in here for people who don't want to play and who just want to get through fights quickly, which is fine. You know, if you're struggling and you, you really need help killing a certain demon, by all means, use all the tools at your disposal. But I'm here for fun. You. Doc. Thank you. Get some ammo back. Thank you. Can I, um, can I teleport yet? Is this the end of the level? Can I teleport? Yes, I can. Okay, um, so I need to teleport up to the top of the throne. Here we 
go. Looks like there were two secrets I missed. Okay. So there's one up on top of this room. We can just jump up here. There it is. Yeah, I see it. We used it. Damn it. I tried to skip it. Okay, and then of course there is the awful one right here. I'll probably be doing a few attempts on this because this one just sucks. Uh, it's, 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 yeah, uh, I Oh my gosh. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, um, where's that? I'm gonna try to control my speed. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see exactly where the, thing is. Um, okay, so that's it right there. That's what I need to get. Right there. Right at the top of the metal grates. Okay, I see it. Dodge. Dodge. Got it. Oh, what a chore. Okay, and now for the last thing, I wanted to pick up this free BFG cell, which I can do right here. Thank you. Uh, let me let me take off that uh, suit or rune, whatever it's called. I want to get back to having the fast glory kills. But yeah, I understand that my um my argument for why I don't care for oh, do I am? Um... Oh, <laughs> why do I keep doing that? There we go. Got it. Um, the reasons why I don't like, you know, um, the BFG and the, um, sword, you could say, oh, well, that doesn't really apply because you use the Ballista Super Shotgun combo, but I think it's somewhat different because with the Ballista Super Shotgun combo, you at least have to know to do it and you have to have the mechanical skill to be able to do it. Whereas with things like the BFG, you just pull out the BFG and you pull a trigger. Like you, th there's... There's nothing to it. It's just you press the trigger and the gun shoots. Whereas with the Ballista Super Shotgun combo, you have to know um, like the timing for it and you have to have the, I don't know, the mechanical skill. There's more to it than just point and click. There's point, swap, click, swap, click, swap, click, and all the while you're still trying to avoid the enemies around you. And I feel like it's just, it's more fun than pulling out a BFG or pulling out a sword and saying, Boom, you died. I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know if uh, other people read, you know, feel free to, but I just don't care for it too much. Anyhow, <laughs> complete tangent aside, that was Taurus Nabod. Um, pretty fun level, honestly. I like playing against the Archiles. I think they're pretty cool. Um, I like having all the Barons. I don't care for the Pain Elemental challenge though, but fighting Pain Elementals, that's pretty cool. I like that they, uh, they summon a bunch of Lost Souls and then they just kind of chuck them at you. That's fun. Um, all around. Good level, I'd say. I'd say it's um, the best one we've had since Arc Complex, which was a few levels ago. Um, but yeah, there you go. I hope you all enjoyed watching. This has been a pleasure to record. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.